Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In the spirit of Easter, I decided that I wanted to watch some sort of Easter horror movie. That's when I came across the cinematic masterpiece trilogy that is Bunny Man. So I'm going to be watching and ranking every single one of these movies and rating them on a scale of Easter eggs. So five Easter eggs, great movie. One Easter egg, dog shit movie. Without further ado, let's get into it with Bunny Man 1. So Bunny Man 1 came out in 2011 and is a low budget straight to video horror movie. But this one is the first in the franchise, just labeled Bunny Man. So I took notes while watching these movies on my phone, so I'm going to be reading off of that. So Bunny Man is obviously a super low budget horror franchise, but I don't really judge movies based off their budget unless it's super distracting. That's foreshadowing for the later movies. Um, the first thing that popped into my head when I was watching this is that the director of these movies definitely watched a lot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and it is super obvious. They also probably were a huge fan of The Hills Have Eyes. And the reason I say this is because Bunny Man rolls with a family who eat people. Everyone in his family eats people. They're all creepy ass cannibals. So they actually re-released this version. Uh, I didn't watch that one. I watched the original. It's called the Grindhouse Edition. It released in 2019 and it gave a little bit of backstory to Bunny Man. But once again, I did not watch that. I stuck with the original through and through. I wanted the true experience, so I did that. So right now, there is not much known about Bunny Man. He's just a dude in a bunny costume, and he's killing people, and he's eating them. So I actually couldn't believe that this was a 2011 movie. When I was watching it, it felt so much older. I literally had to double check because there was no way. So right off the bat, the acting is absolutely horrible, but that's what makes it fun sometimes. I went into these movies with the mindset that yes, they are going to suck, but I'm going to try to have fun. And Bunny Man was fun. It was fun to watch. I laughed at basically everything. Um, there's no fun, like, gory kills in this movie because it's all off screen. I don't even know if there is an on screen kill in this movie. So that aspect made it almost unfun to watch, but the characters are so stupid and fun to see what they're about to say, and the dialogue is so bad that I just couldn't look away. The structure and the pacing of this movie also just sucks. They're introducing characters left and right that have barely any subject matter to them. And by the end of the movie, it doesn't matter because literally all the people in this movie never show up ever again besides Bunny Man and the funny hit guy. So let's get into the hit guy that I just mentioned. I don't remember his name. It was hit guy the whole entire time. He's just a hick. The main characters in this movie, their friend gets run over by Bunny Man when he's under the car like trying to fix it or something. So they go off and they look for help and they come across Hickman. And honestly, right away, this guy was my favorite part of this movie. He was so funny. Look man, our friend is dead, okay? He was murdered literally like 20 miles from here. Well, if he's dead already, why you need the phone? Like, I can tell he's not a good dude, obviously, but his dialogue is just crazy, dude. He says the most insane stuff. Basically, two characters at the end of this movie end up escaping the cannibal house, and we never see them again, and we also never see the cannibal family. I actually can't remember if they were killed. Um, I, th I think one of them was killed, but I think some were still alive. But it doesn't even matter if they died or not, because once again, they never show up ever again. So my general synopsis for the first movie is that it was funny to watch, uh, it wasn't gory, all the kills were off screen, and I was really hoping that this movie would have had that aspect because that would have made it so much better to watch. I like the idea of these movies, I feel like they can be a lot more fun the more budget they can get, so that's when I went to the second movie. So Bunny Man 1, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5 easter eggs. And I will explain this reasoning at the end. But yeah, we're going to move on to the second one, The Bunny Man Massacre. So Bunny Man 2 is actually low-key a banger. It is such a fun watch. It is a horrible movie. It is so bad to the point where I could not keep my eyes off the screen. It also has to be one of the funniest movies I've ever watched because of how stupid everybody is. They are so stupid in this movie, I can't believe it. I'm almost certain it was done on purpose, obviously, but it was such a funny thing. So right off the bat, you can tell this movie is going for the edge. It's super edgy. So there's a school bus that's full of kids uh, that pulls up to a bench to pick up the kid who's waiting. Um, it turns out that this child is unalived, 
which all right we're already into it and it was bunny man who did it bunny man set them up he comes out he walks onto the school bus with a chainsaw and murders almost all the children i remember watching this like dude what the actual fuck am i staring at right now so i knew right off the bat this movie was different this one this one was gonna be the one it then just randomly cuts to a scene where he's killing a bunch of people camping in the woods and they i'm almost certain they completely ripped off jason Voorhees sleeping bag kill but i don't really care because it was funny and they did it pretty well this scene really put into perspective how much more r-rated and mature this was because there was nudity and a lot of death so we're already going past that spectrum and then we learn that the only person that comes back from the first movie is the funny hit guy and he's he's not very funny anymore we found out we find out his shtick basically bunny man is not with his family anymore and now he's staying with this hit guy who basically took him under his wing and they kidnap girls together murder them eat them do horrible things to them and it made the hit guy not as funny but his dialogue still makes me laugh in this movie because of how absurd it is he is completely over the top uh give this guy a raise because he plays this character uh, actually a little bit too good it's kind of worrying there was a point towards the end of the second movie where i was like is that just this guy in real life because he's too good at this so this movie has a lot of kills on screen um but unfortunately it has some weird CGI blood. One of the things I hate the most of horror movies is when they use CGI blood. I get it, the budget is low, but it looks really bad. And it is distracting. Like I said in the beginning, low budgets aren't distracting unless they're distracting. And it was very distracting. So this movie actually follows the hick way more than Bunny Man in this movie. And that was very upsetting. The main story is basically that two girls get kidnapped by the Hick and Bunny Man, and one of the girls makes a plea deal basically that if she can bring back three other girls, they would let her and her friend go, which is crazy. So the Hick ends up giving her a gun and then telling her to go out and go get those girls that she was talking about. And this is one of my first problems. This dude gave you a gun. He gave you a gun and you ran out. I'm sorry, but if this Hick guy gave me a gun, the first thing I would do was shoot him to death. I don't even care if like he had a chance to fight me back. I would just shoot him. Just do it. So the main girl actually ends up finding three random girls who are camping and forces them to come back to the Hicks lair. Surprisingly, they let him go. Psych, you thought. They let him go and then Bunny Man drove a truck and picked them back up and brought them back. The Hick guy's ROI on that investment was actually crazy. Also, I have here in my notes that I said overall there's a lot more gore in this movie and it's really cheesy, but it added to it. I guess that's what I was thinking in the moment, and I'm just gonna roll with it. Also in this movie, there is a character who is a sheriff. This sheriff has noticed that his deputies have been going missing, and it's because the hit guy has just been shooting and killing them. He wants to get to the bottom of it, and he's super suspicious of this hit guy. So throughout the movie, he's kind of just like pestering him. Like he's always kind of there, like watching him, but he can never catch him doing anything illegal. And the two main girls actually end up escaping and finding this cop waving him down the cops like get in the back of the car there's a gun in the back seat it's only got a few bullets and make sure you use them keep that in mind as the girls are running away and they wave down the cop they're being chased by the hick and bunny man the cop gets in the woods because he hears the hick coming and he hides he's waiting for his chance to strike the hick is saying some some things along the line of where are you ladies at but instead of ladies just think of something absolutely derogatory and the cop points his gun at him and he says what are you doing, partner? I don't think he had an accent, I just I just added that. The hit guy turns around to look at the cop, and I'm not even kidding, they have a western standoff. No joke, old western standoff, the cop with a pistol, and the hit guy with a sniper rifle, a bolt action sniper rifle, during a western draw. This part made no sense to me because they're having a western draw, but there's no sound cue to know when you're supposed to take your gun out and like shoot at each other. You know, Western Duels, it hits 12, ding, and then as soon as that thing goes up, Red Dead Redemption style, they start shooting each other. No, it doesn't make any sense. They shoot at each other, it fades to black. It cuts over to the cop car where the two main girls are hiding in the back seat. Guess who's there? Bunny Man has showed up to the cop car. The girl's friend gets dragged out, and she starts getting choked out by Bunny Man. Her friend grabs the gun. Listen, listen to this part. Her friend grabs the gun, walks up to Bunny Man choking her friend, and sticks the gun directly in his face. She didn't try to shoot him from the other side of the cop car 
or from a distance at all. She put the gun directly in his face before trying to shoot. Bunny Man just slaps it out of her hand, kills her friend. That's it. That's what happens. It cuts back to the hick and the cop. It turns out the hick shot the cop and the cop never hit the hick. The guy with the sniper rifle just, just won that battle. The hick goes over to the cop and starts squeezing his eyeballs out with his thumbs. And then the cop grabs the pistol and shoots the hick in the neck. The hick is on the ground. Ooh, it cuts back to Bunny Man and the cop car. The friend that's still alive picks the gun back up and, and get this, face to face with Bunny Man, instead of trying to shoot him, she shoots herself in the head. She shoots herself. I don't, I don't know. So Bunny Man is like, well, all right, what do I do now? He walks over to the hick who is bleeding out on the ground, holding his, holding his neck hole. Bunny Man just puts him out of his misery. Bunny Man just kills him. The Hick was not nice to Bunny Man. He was kind of like a bully. He would always curse at him and call him stupid and stuff. So kind of makes sense why he did that. And that's how the movie ends. That's how that ended. So Bunny Man Massacre was a lot better than the first one. I would give it three Easter eggs out of five. It was a relatively fun watch, but it was very stupid. But the very stupidness made it way more fun. Next, we have Bunny Man Vengeance. This movie is a hot pile of dog shit. This is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. I barely have any notes on this movie because I don't remember a single thing about it and I watched it two days ago. Um, let me look at my notes here. So we learn that Bunny Man is some sort of burn victim from some random person who, who put fire on him. Why? I don't know. So Bunny Man under this suit is just like a burn victim. We already saw what he looked like in the first and second movie, but they never explained why he looks like this or who he even is. In the beginning of this movie, yeah, they show just him getting like alcohol and fire on him. Some kids did it. And then another kid comes over and puts the fire out. I, dude, I have no idea. So we learn that the cops somehow survived and he pulls over uh, one of the main villains in this movie who basically replaces the hit guy. He is then, no joke, I don't even know, like two minutes later, just runs the cop over and then he's out. The cop is out of the movie. Why even bring him back if you're gonna kill him within the first two minutes? There's no point. Um, Bunny Man's introduction, he's carrying a kid in a sack and he he's punching the kid in the face and then, I don't, it's so bad. It's such a bad movie. I will say though that this movie probably has the best kills uh, on paper, but the execution of these kills is worse than Bunny. I would rather have off-screen kills than to see what I saw in this movie. The CGI blood is actually horrible. It is horrible. I once again I understand it's a low budget. It's a dude trying to make his own make his own thing. It looks really bad. I personally, gonna be honest, I can't do better than this. I know I can't, but I'm just a judgmental person sometimes, and I did not like how it looked. The only thing I really remember from this movie is that in the middle of it, there's a weird, like, music video. I'm not even kidding. It's like a full three minute long music video that looked like some sort of YouTube poop meme back in the day. And that's all I remember. I hated it. I would give it 0.5 Easter eggs out of five. So yeah, those are all the Bunny Man movies ranked. So I would go Bunny Man Massacre, number one, the original Bunny Man, number two, and Bunny Man Vengeance, dead last. I didn't watch the Bunny Man Grindhouse edition, and if there are like significant differences, I would love to know. So if you have seen that version, let me know in the comments. Yeah, so happy Easter. Um, go paint some eggs and eat some chocolate bunnies, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.